Angel Mother. We seek your wisdom. Bide a while. I have much to show you both. Come to me. Let me show you the way. Mother Tree, I am sure by now you have heard of the destruction at Claw Island. Zaitan is attacking in force. The soul of Tyria mourned as her children were cut down by the beast. The land wept, and the world shuddered. My friend and I seek to right that wrong. We wish to fight Zaitan, and take back what was lost. We've come to ask your counsel. The answer is at the heart of Tyria's future, and your own. Both of you must face the darkness, become guiding stars in the night. Is it even possible to defeat Zaitan? Only with great courage. Come, I will show you a vision of your future, and the challenges to come. It is time, my brave friends. Your future awaits. It is a dark and foul place. Even though I have been here, in truth, this vision... Accelerate! There, has lessons yet to be revealed. They say that all was once beautiful. A nation to rival Kryta, Ascalon, and Ilona. The human gods lived in the city of Ara, and the people here were blessed. After the gods left, the humans banded into guilds and warred upon each other. Guild wars caused great devastation, and the nations faltered. Where does this road lead, Mother? To the ancient city of Ara, the Dragon Stronghold. That is your goal. Along the way, you will glimpse things that may yet come to pass. are formidable, tougher than the ones at Claw Island. How will we defeat them? Alone you cannot, but with unity you will find that many impossible things can be achieved. Defenders of Tyria, when Zaitan rose from slumber, the dragon found a long dead nation and claimed it. The dragon expected the rest of Tyria to be as easily conquered. But we live, and we breathe, and we fight. All races, all orders, and all paths of life stand against Zaitan. The dragon is a fearsome enemy. It wants nothing more than to paralyze us with doubt. But I tell you this, we are not afraid. We will never kneel. Do you feel that? The dragon hears us. To Arar and victory. Is this a vision of the future? Mother, I do not understand. I'm no general. You must be what Tyria needs you to be, my son. You have more courage than you realize. <laughs>
past taints the future. Our heroes have fallen. They must be redeemed. You are the catalyst. You must bring them together. Heal their wounds. Where were you? We needed you. Someone was going to die no matter what I did. Snaff or my queen. I had to make a choice. You would have done the same. Any of you! If the person you loved was in danger, you would have done the same. Destiny's Edge disbanded after their loss against the Elder Dragon, Krakatoric. To this day, they have unresolved grievances with one another. It was your responsibility. Snaff trusted you and you failed him. I tried to keep him out of danger. I would have given anything to prevent his death. It wasn't enough. You weren't enough. You should have died, Air, instead of him. Logan was called away by his queen. Yet Air chose to fight the Elder Dragon. They lost. Glint died, along with Snaff, Soldier's mentor and friend. They can't understand that the dragons are more important. They throw everything away. I'm alone. I'm tired. Come back to me. If the world must end, let us spend our last days in each other's arms. These visions represent a possible future for Destiny's Edge, should they not resolve their quarrels. We need them to reconcile, if we're to defeat Zaitan. Where was I? Oh yes, the Guild Wars. Still angry over the loss of Ascalon, the Char struck hard while humanity fought with itself. The Char ravaged Ascalon with searing cauldrons and marched on Orr. As hope failed, an Orion named Vizier Kilbron read the Lost Scrolls and unleashed an ancient curse. The curse annihilated the Char army, but it destroyed Orr as well. A cataclysm plunged the nation into the ocean. Everything was lost. This is the tomb of the Kings of Ore. Walk inside and seek truth, but be warned, the future can change in the blink of an eye. To see the sky, feel once more the wind, and the sun, although my nation is drowned, the slow blood still pulses in its veins. Or was once the heart of Tyria, so full of life, 
I was the last of a line of proud rulers. Now, my nation is enslaved. What do you seek here? Or has nothing left to give, save ash and bones? We came to fight Zaitan. Can you give us counsel? Zaitan can be defeated, but that will not save Or. The land must be cleansed of this poison. Seek the source. Is Zaitan the source, or is there some other poison that fouls Or? Please tell us. Seek the source. Cleanse Or. Seek the source. Zaitan, the Elder Undead Dragon that pulled Ore from the depths. The massacre of Ore gave the dragon fertile ground to create its horrific army. Zaitan's power does not end here. In slaughter, its army grows stronger. Claw Island was just the beginning. The dragons are destruction. They will not stop until all life on Tyria is destroyed. Once more you stand on sacred ground. Remember what you have seen. Speak with me, and I will guide you. To know the future, even the mere possibility can be a great burden. I am sorry, brave heroes, that you must walk this path. Must these things come to pass, Mother? Must I take up Khaled Bolg and travel into the heart of Or? You must both take up this mantle. Traherne, your duty is to cleanse Or. Your friend shall aid you, and then face the dragon. And Claw Island. Can we retake it and save Lion's Arch? 
I believe so. But that will not be your first test. The dragon seeks to destroy its enemies before they can strike. I see within the dream that Zaitan's forces enter battle. Not against Lion's Arch, but at the heart of your order. My order headquarters? No. How could that be? How could Zaitan even know? Those who have been corrupted reveal everything to Zaitan. Nothing is secret, least of all those places where his enemies hide. If my friends are in danger, I have to go to them. They have no warning. They'll be slaughtered. I will go with you. Our fates are bound together, and from this day forward, we fight as one. Farewell, valiant souls. May your wild hunt be successful, and may your courage illuminate the dark of night. Statistically speaking, this is rather rare. Look there, the pale tree was right. The Derman Priory is overwhelmed. We'll have to fight our way in. The scholars need our help. We need to gather everyone we find, build a fighting force as we head in. Good idea. Be cautious, Magister. These Orions are fueled by the dragon's hatred, and it is strong right now. Don't worry, my friend. I'll watch your back. You watch mine. If we lose their knowledge, we can lose their power. Help us. Zaitan's army has grown. Thank you. 
that mega laser bolt was gigantic. Steward Gix, are you all right? I'm fine. Poor brave scholars. Our explorers fought well, but we were no match for the Lizard. More undead are coming. What can we do to defend against them? Go downstairs, to the vaults. Defend the research teams. They can help us raise an appropriate defense. Break out the emergency weapon supply. Tell them to gather every obscure invention and ready every inscrutable device. We are not giving up. Once you clear the undead out of the vaults, get back up here. My magic can only hold back the Risen for a short while. We'll hurry. Do everything you can, Steward Gix. Just give us time. If we hadn't arrived in time, the Priory would have been lost, thank the Pale Tree. The Mother Tree is very wise. I'm glad we saw her. If the Priory had fallen, we'd never be able to defend Lion's Arch. Do you remember what she said? With unity, 
many impossible things can be achieved. She was right. The Priory can't fight Zaitan like this. We may have the knowledge, but we lack both an army and the resources. We can't have that kind of peace-loving, low-down, poltroon talk. Did the Risen strike you on the head? We cannot give up the struggle. Steward, the other Orders of Tyria share our concerns about the dragons. The Priory should contact them and divulge information on Orr. Terrible idea. The Order of Whispers are underhanded backstabbers, and those brainless warmongers in the Vigil are even worse. You're wrong, Winnet. They simply have their own ways of fighting Zaitan. Both would be staunch allies in this war. Perhaps you're right. The fact that Zaitan could strike at the Priory's heart shakes me to the core. I trust you, Magister. And I trust Traherne. Go to the other orders. Set up a meeting. Tell them that the Dermond Priory respectfully wishes to negotiate terms of accord. Thank you, Steward. I'll do everything I can. I see Gix stumbled out of his library, and the preceptor crawled out of her hole. I see you're not letting rationality get in the way of your ignorance, Almora. How predictable. Who are you calling ignorant, you twitchy little bookworm? Wonderful. I see we're off to a running start. The Order of Whispers needs allies, not infants. <laughs> Enough bickering, all of you. Our real enemy lurks across the waves. Zaitan's servants march at the gates of Lion's Arch. We must band together, or we will all be destroyed. When I joined my order, I swore to fight Zaitan. I will die for Tyria if I must. However, I believe that together we can win. The Vigil has shown tremendous courage in the fight against the dragons. This alliance will require courage as well. Why back down now? The Order of Whispers has seen nations rise and fall. You cannot hide from this threat. You need to make a stand. And who knows more about the dragons than the Priory? Just think of how much there is to learn. Where else but in Orr? By the worlds of eternal alchemy, you're bold. But you're correct. Knowledge is useless if it is not used. We shall aid you. The Order of Whispers has worked for generations to bring nations together. We can do no less now. Our blades are yours. The Vigil fears nothing, not even ill-tempered, undisciplined louts like these two. We'll join, but I insist there's a decent hierarchy. Who will lead this compact? Logic dictates that it cannot be a member of any of our orders, lest one be seen as above the other two. Quite a conundrum. I've already considered that. Traherne, you've never joined an order, yet they all respect you. You've studied Orr all your life. Will you lead us? I... I never wanted to be a soldier. I'm only a seeker of truth. But, yes, I will lead this pact to the gates of Ara, and together, we will see Zaitan destroyed. First, to Claw Island. Let us send our defiant message straight into the heart of Orr. Tyria stands as one. All my life I've watched war, studied it, researched the abominations at Zaitan's force. I have avoided the challenge of my wild hunt. I did. 
always claiming I was not yet ready. I did not think all could be cleansed. I feared failure, but you're right. It is time to act. We'll either cleanse the land or return to it. assembled, we can begin the briefing. Marshal Traherne, sir. I'm Efoot, liaison for the vigil troops. The Lion Guard are clearing some road, but the inner courtyard gate is blocked. My Priory Explorers brought a biomantic siege capacitor, Marshal. Our top mystics have been working on it for some time. It could be useful. I've heard of that device. Whisper's agent stole a copy of the blueprints, but we couldn't figure out your bizarre telemetry. There's a working prototype? Of course. Nothing's beyond the Priory's intelligence. Unfortunately, it's a portable model, so it lacks the power to blast through a fortified gate. What if we amplified this capacitor in some way? Clever. The signal towers use magical panels to increase brightness. If we reversed the panel's direction and adjusted the enchantment, we could amplify the beam. It's improvised off the cuff and madcap, but you know, it just might work. Still, there are far too many undead between here and the signal tower. Leave that part to me. The Vigil may not understand your boo-boo, matic, wheeze calculator, but we know plenty about killing undead. Then we have a plan. Commander Efoot, move out. Your crusaders can guide the way. Thank you. 
source cell in the amplification and attach the capacitor. Just keep them off. Constitulated configure coming up. Well done. We've secured the docks. What about the courtyard, Marshal? That big dragon thing will be on us the minute we charge in there. We need to retake the ramparts and deploy siege weapons. Then we can cover the sky while we clear the courtyard. I can help there. Priory alchemists have crafted special ammunition to weaken champions like that one. We can force that monster to the ground. Once you get it down, we'll get it dead. Put your trust in Vigil Steel.
win it and we take the siege points. Plague bringer must be brought down.
did it. We recaptured Claw Island, and in so doing, saved Lion's Arch as well. I do not know what lies ahead of us, my friend, but for the first time, I have hope. Hope that this alliance can save Tyria from the dragons. Hope for the future. Hope for all. this battle without you. So go get some rest. A lot of work ahead of us. Victory. Now, or at last. Those other orders. You trust them? Everything in moderation, including moderation. This is a momentous day. The tide of history has changed, Traherne. Indeed. Many people doubted. Even the Orders weren't truly certain it could be done. Never before has Tyria been so united. Let Orr hear the echo of this battle. We can defeat the dragons. We will. Zaitan waits at the center of Orr, surrounded by a nation of undead. The battle to destroy the dragon will not be easy, but it can be won. There is a ruined fortress at the edge of Orr, south of the Shattercleft Hills. From that high cliff, you can see the spires of Orr rising beyond the Straits of Devastation. We will take this fort and make it our own. The Pact will rebuild it. We will place our banners, and from there we will strike at the Dragon's Heart. I will make plans with the leaders of the Orders and gather troops at that location. You deserve some well-earned rest, my friend. Join me when you are ready, and together, we will find a way to slay Zaitan. to the next chapter. 